Welcome to this new series I'm going to build where we're going to try and make a, a pretty uh, high spec family photo sharing app um, that's going to be with augmented reality. So it's going to be called the Afpasar right here, the Afpasar. So if you guys can't pronounce that yet, just say it a few times. It really, it really sticks like Google, right? Afpasar, easy to say. So that's going to be my trademark. That's going to be my name for this beautiful app we're going to build. Now, we're going to combine so many beautiful technologies to try and do this. And I might fail at some of this. It might not be perfect, but at least we're going to figure out how much we can push this uh, system we have right here or these technologies right here to kind of build this app. Now, the heart of the entire application is going to be a Firebase backend. Now, that's going to contain some, um, some authentication. It's going to contain a database. We're going to use Firestore, which is still in beta, but it's going to be great to work with for us at least to try it out. And hopefully when I'm done, it'll be released and you guys can start using it for real. We're going to use the storage on Firebase to kind of save our images or our photos that we can share with the family. We're going to use functions so that we can kind of, whenever we save something, we can put in some metadata maybe. When was it made? When was it created? When was it saved? Stuff like that. And we're going to host an Angular app and um, on the actual Firebase backend right here. So that's kind of the, the startup goal. Now, with, with, with this hard in place, we're going to make a front-end app in the first series that's going to be built in Angular. So we're going to make an Angular app. I've already done that in a few series, so nothing new here. I'm going to try and use some more advanced features, and I'm also going to try and dive more into how we use these different things like observables, how we use routing, how we use uh, authentication and auth guards and stuff like that. So I'm going to try and recap and dive into some of these features, but now I'm going to use Firebase as the backend instead of the C sharp backend and the Mongo database, uh, sorry, the mean of men um, as, as the backend. So we're going to change that a bit. Now, when this series is done, when we have some kind of uh, family photo sharing app inside these two technologies, we're going to try and dive into a second series where I'm going to build a small Yannick app. Now, right now it's in Yannick 3, version 3, and I hope we can get to that point before it moves to 4, but that's my expectations. And we're going to build a mobile app that still communicates to the heart, which is still going to be the Firebase backend. And we can log in and we can see the images. Maybe we can also share images that we just take right now, selfies, stuff like that. We just press share with the family and boom, it goes up here and boom, it's shared over here. Yeah, so it's going to be real time all the time. Whenever I save something here, it's going to be posted here. Whenever I do something here, it's going to be posted here. It's going to be real time data running all over our beautiful system right here. Now, when this is done, the series two is done, I'm going to move and try to actually do some augmented reality, still working with this database right here. So the augmented reality part is going to be just an image viewer, right? But it's going to be an image viewer where I can just have a tablet or an iPad or even my phone, and I have something that can then present my images in the room I'm sitting in. So just imagine this, I'm going to hold up my tablet and boom, here are my images available in the room, maybe on the couch in my living room, and I can start swiping my images and I can, maybe I can move the image up on my wall and see, oh man, that would be a great image to put on my wall. I don't know, I'm just thinking out of the box here. We'll figure it out. So I'll make augmented reality so we can start moving these images around. But just to add some internet of things as well, I'm going to add a bit of hardware as well. So I'm going to buy a Raspberry Pi. I'm going to buy a gesture handler for the Raspberry Pi. And that means that I'm going to have some kind of device that I can actually swipe over um, and, and move gestures around so we can start moving the images in the room using the IoT, the Raspberry Pi. It's going to send information to the Firebase. It's going to send information back to the augmented reality and it can move it around in the room in augmented reality. So we have these two combined as well. I know this is madness and I'm probably not going to get to the end, but I'm going to try in the next series to get as far as I can. So series one, let's combine these two. Series two, let's combine these two, the Ionic and the Firebase. Series three, let's combine the Firebase with the augmented reality. And series four, let's combine these three guys and actually have some data that we can kind of use in augmented reality. I know this is going to be so much fun for me at least. And I hope you guys will follow us along as much as you can and want. And um, see you in the first lesson where we'll start just diving into these two guys in the first series. Have fun.